This is one of the lesson from my course creative layouts for web and mobile apps. And if you want to watch the whole three hour course, you can find the links in the description below of this video. Now let's go ahead and watch this video lesson now. Now you already learned about grids. Now the question is how we are going to combine different columns inside of a grid. Why should I combine four columns for this content and why not six columns or half the columns? So it is going to depend on the content you have. If you have few lines, you might, uh, they might fit into uh, three columns. If you have just a logo, it might fit into two columns. So this is actually uh, the question you are going to ask that your content type is going to define your grids and layout. So this is what I meant. Your content, if it is small, it is going to be fit into smaller uh, columns, number of columns. And if we have a very large image, it might take up 12 columns or even go outside of that. So let me show you and illustrate this with an example we saw in the last lesson. So let's see it now. Now this is the same design I showed you in the last lesson and you can see I have changed uh, a bit of the layout over here. So you can see we have a, a graphic on the right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. And this text over here is also taking six columns over here. So you can see over here, it is up to over here, but actually it is taking six columns. So whenever your developer or coder, they are going, going to code this website, they are going to develop this website. They are going to allocate six columns for this text over here and align it on the left. So you can see, I showed you in the last lesson that either you can align them in the middle or you can have them on the left. So this is totally different layout. Now in the next section, you can see we have our services, GDPR, GDPR, or these icons we have. So icons and this text, we have very small text. It is like three lines or maximum four lines. So what I did is I actually allocated four columns for each of them. So four columns, then a gutter over here. Then again, we have um, four columns over here. Then again, we have gutter over here. Then again, we have four columns over here. So you can see this is actually we are, uh, this is actually how we are using, using grids. So we are leaving these gutters. So to have some breathing room inside these three content blocks. So you need to keep that in mind. These are three content blocks and uh, let's deselect it. Uh, and also you can see over here, here again, we have two different content blocks, one and two. So these are two major blocks. One is actually the introduction or one heading, subheading or the tagline and then a button. Then on the right, we have an illustration. So these are actually two different content blocks we have so actually we are designing uh, in blocks okay so um what else is that whenever you are designing using grids don't just think in numbers like six seven eight try to think in percentages like this is 50 percent and this is 50 percent so we have two columns major big columns that are 50-50% taking a width of 50% for this image or illustration and 50% for the content. Then over here we have 33% or 33.33, 33.33 and 33.33. So this is actually how you are going to think. If you want to have a flexible or responsive design, you, you are not going to think in terms of uh, two columns, three columns, or 12 columns, or 16 columns, or seven columns, you are going to think in percentages that uh, this layout has 60% uh, uh, image and 40% text and things like that. So this is actually very important concept. That is why I created this design and I treated it and changed it a bit to show you that a single uh, content have multiple layouts. Now, I hope you have understood the meaning of these grids and how you can create different layouts, how you are going to think in terms of percentages while creating your layouts. 
If you have any questions, do ask me. Let's move on to the next lesson.